Hello, Scorpio. My name is Trudy. I'm your Portrait Gypsy Angel Medium. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, re welcome. So, this is your June 2020 reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. That's all the placements that you can watch on my channel. So, figure yourself out, Google search. Uh, natal chart and fill in your information and that way you can get a broader perspective. Also cross watchers are welcome. If you find the reading resonates that was most definitely my goal and if parts of it don't then let it go. Um, you know and if nothing resonates then maybe you want to get a personal exchange of energies. Click on the description box below, follow the instructions and we will make that happen. I love a personal exchange of energies. Thank you to those of you who are my clients. I certainly do appreciate you guys. I love you so much because I really do love the exchange of energies. Plus that gets us so many more like divination tools like this beautiful um this is a citrine crystal wand and look at all of this stuff on the inside of it. It's so magical and, and it's for manifesting. So I'm sharing this beautiful divine energy here with you. Uh, I also have here, this is a sage infused candle that I lit specifically for the June readings. I got some Palo Santo. Let's, let's burn y'all some Palo Santo so we can you know, get you smudged and cleaned up. Get some Palo Santo going on over here. So, smudge and clear. And there it is, just burning. So, get our shuffle on. I am using the Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. June 2020, what are the most important messages for my lovely Scorpio? Scorpio, yo, yo. Let's hear it. So, I just got to shuffle until they say. <laughs> but, uh, I did want to say thank you also to those of you who are subscribers. When you leave comments, I flip and love it. Don't leave me complaints. Please don't do that. Um, if the reading doesn't resonate, then you can just go to another reader. We got some cards here, jumping cards. Ace of Cups. I like that. Ace of Cups wants to come out. And the Seven of Cups also wanted to come out. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to put them back in. guided to shuffle like this. One second. And one more and then cut the deck. All right. Bottom of the deck energy. Ace of Swords. The truth will set you free, Scorpio. You need to speak your truth. You need to let it out. You need to let it out. I'm hearing the song from, I think it's Black Eyed Peas. I want to scream and shout and let it all out. And scream and shout and let it out. <laughs> I'm saying oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> so this is going to be a very blended reading. I'm only pulling three cards from the Sarah Marchetti deck and... Uh, the undercurrent energy, which is what I just revealed to you. But I'm also going to be shuffling other cards here. I've got Chakra Reading Cards by Rachel Sharman. I'm going to pull a Chakra Reading Card for you today, Scorpio. Psh, psh, psh. Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, May 2020. Sorry, June 2020. Somebody needs to go back and watch the May 2020 reading. I'm being told that that was not a mistake. Somebody didn't watch it, and it's applicable. We got, they said not these. They said not these, but I want to show you them anyways, because somebody's going to complain, and they said not these. They said inspiration. And that's it. They said that's it. Okay. So... Shh, we're going to do... Also, Dorian Virtues, Archangel Gabriel cards. 
Let's see what the Archangel Gabriel messages are for Scorpio, psh, psh, psh. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, June 2020. Archangel Gabriel, what are your messages? We got a flipper. That's it. All right, retreat. I can't make this up though. Like, y'all saw the flipping cards at the beginning when I did uh, the tarot. And we had the Ace of Cups, and I was like, we'll see if they come up. And that's why I show them to you because I'm going to put them back in the deck and I'm going to shuffle live. And that way you can see how magical this stuff is. It's a deck of 78 cards. I mean, what are the odds mathematically, even if I put it back into the deck and the card jumped out all dramatic like and flipped and landed on its back? You know what I mean? Like, it's just so beautiful. Psh, psh, psh. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, gotcha. And this one also. Okay, thank you. All right, we have our messages. By the way, this is Law of Attraction um, Affirmations. And this is by Amy Zerner and Monte Farber. So, I'm going to start off with the Archangel Gabriel card because I feel... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to start off with a tarot reading and then I'll move into Archangel Gabriel. So what I was saying was if you paid attention to the cards or you can even rewind and rewatch the video, this one came up in the pre-shuffle and it put it right smack dab inside of the middle of the deck. And here it is. It popped up among four cards that I pulled out of a deck of 78. You got two aces, baby. There is a pivotal moment for you here in the month of June 2020, okay? You have two aces in your cards, baby. This is like, yeah! This is awesome. You got the sword of truth. The truth will set you free. I'm also hearing... You can't handle the truth because my truth is like raw garlic and a lot of people can't handle that raw garlic taste. And Scorpio, you got some truth. You got some truth. But in addition, you're coming from a place of love. You want a new beginning coming from love. You want a new beginning coming from your third eye how you're envisioning it. But it's coming from a place of infinite, abundant love. So much love. Okay. And who's to say how we love is right or wrong? Each of us loves in our own independent way. Um, and you are coming up as the queen of pentacles. She is quite the provider. Um, I, I don't want you to pay attention to the gender here. If you're a dude or a lady, okay, this energy still stands. The energy is of being abundant with finances, with you know just being in harmony with all of nature also the peacock is here why because she's peacocking she's fucking gorgeous she's hot <sighs> she's very materialistic she wears nice clothes she's got the nice handbag she's got the technology you know like she's she's got it going on um the queen of pentacles and then there's the high priestess so this is following your intuition this is you being summoned to come back to the spiritual side of life to following your intuition your intuition works best when you use it <laughs> it's like a muscle use it or lose it buster if you don't use it it will atrophy so rely on your intuition give your intuition a reason to be activated and you know utilize it okay and then i was gonna go with archangel gabriel messages here you need to make time to retreat take time and make time for yourself you need to get away from the mundane and get away from your current every day so that you can recreate thoughts and restructure them and reorganize and come up with a solution or a plan of execution um, and be able to block out the distractions, be able to prioritize. You need time 
by yourself so that you don't have any external influence, any bothersome details distracting you from what you want to execute. Okay. A plan of deliberation. Deliberation? Okay. And number 11, I don't know if you guys are seeing the 11s. Also, the card is, you know, it's definitely a sacral chakra card. It's inspiration. This is talking about your inspiration. This is talking about your sacral chakra. You need to eat orange foods. You know, I'm not talking about Cheetos. I'm talking about carrots. And <laughs> like maybe pumpkins. I don't know. Whatever you find that's orange, let's eat it. And not Cheetos again, not artificial, okay? Um spend time with orange crystals and activate your creativity. This is your inspiration. And I feel like you allowed somebody to go and interfere with the space of your inspiration. It's like this chakra is located between your groin and your navel. It's a very intimate spot. It's where the children are birthed, okay? And you need to do some cleansing from what I'm understanding. And also you're being encouraged to sun gaze, stargazing and sun gazing. Sun is a star, whatever. But you want to do this safely when the sun has just barely started to rise or when the sun is almost done setting. Um... And just give yourself like five minutes of that beautiful sunlight into your third eye. It's going to be really good for your inspiration and healing for you. Uh, we also have here motivation. And these are the affirmations that I was telling you about. I am motivated and I motivate people. Help me. I'm sorry. I am motivated and motivated people help me to improve my finances. But this isn't just limited to finances. I'm hearing that this is limited to improve my whatever it is that you wanted to say there. I am motivated and motivated help me motivated people help me to improve my okay, whatever it is you want to add there. Courage. And we have a beautiful uh I don't know if that's a I think it's a cheetah. <laughs> I'm terrible. Anyways, but it's a gorgeous feline and it's representing courage. Okay. So my fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. So Rejection, schmejection, who cares about that? Eat it for breakfast and keep on going. All right, I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Scorpio. I love you, love me back, love yourself, love everybody around you. Mwah.